National Velvet, a great story. As a highly successful Book of the Month Club selection, this fine spirited drama, with its very unusual title, thrilled thousands of readers. Metro Golden Mayor now presents this most human story of a boy, a girl, and a horse in all the warm tenderness of its modest, unpretentious sincerity. National Velvet, an intriguing title. The Velvet is for Velvet Brown, shy and unassuming. Her only dream in life is horses, particularly after she wins an unruly, mischief-loving sorrel in a raffle. As to the national part of the title, with wholesome faith in her horse, the pie, Velvet and the boy trained him for the grand national steeplechase, the greatest, grandest prize a horse ever won. As to the boy, he is courageous, stout of heart. The horse not good enough? The pie? That's not only the pie, ma'am, nor the money, it's a score of other things. 30 jumps, the hardest course in the world. The national, the greatest race on earth. Training him month on month. Then there's Velvet's young brother. I was sick all night. And her loving, understanding mother. Things come suitable to the time, Velvet. Enjoy each thing, then forget it and go on to the next. There's a time for everything. There's a time for having a horse in the Grand National. Being in love, having children. Velvet's father isn't a frivolous man. But I'd like to risk a couple of pounds. Put it on the pie for me. Yes, sir. And I'll not be angry if you don't tell the missus about it. And would it burst your own foolish heart to look at an account of 5,000 pounds in a solid bank? Can't help it, Father. I'd sooner have that horse happy than go to heaven. We promise you the thrill of your movie-going experience in the running of the Grand National. And sincerely, and honestly, we make you this promise, too. It's been a mighty long time since you've seen a better picture than National Velvet.